Joining us now to discuss is Dr. Camille Cotton, Clinical Director for Transplant and Immunocompromised Host Infectious Diseases at Massachusetts General Hospital and a member of the ACIP. I know, I, I understand, Doctor, you will be at today's meeting. What will you be looking for? Well, today's meeting um, will be a discussion of primarily the Pfizer vaccine, and we will be reviewing safety and efficacy and thinking about um, paths forward. And uh, near the end of the meeting, we will also be beginning to discuss uh, booster doses and exactly what information we will need to make good decisions about them. How concerned are you about the rising number of hospitaliza hospitalizations of, of younger children who contracted COVID-19 and, and don't have the vaccine? Sure. Uh, well, we definitely are concerned about all hospitalizations. We are really concerned about the overall number of hospitalizations. I will say the vast majority of those hospitalizations are people who have not been vaccinated. So rather than uh, necessarily focus on booster vaccines, I would still recommend very strongly that everyone think very hard about getting a vaccine. Vaccines have been given to hundreds of millions of people. The safety data is overall really incredible, and it is much safer to get vaccinated than to run the risk of um, getting infected. At this point in the pandemic, with Delta circulating so uh, commonly out there, it's really important to think about vaccine now. The choice is really either eventually getting infected or getting vaccinated. And I have chosen to get vaccinated uh, knowing that the level of protection, even many months later, is really, really good. So. We should really have a major focus on getting the entire population well vaccinated. At the same time, there are some Americans who are receiving that third shot, the, the, the booster shot. How do you see that timeline um, moving from here till the end of the year? So hopefully between now and the end of the year, we will have the ability to review all the medical information and make good choices and good recommendations as far as what Americans need. I would stress that the um, safety and effectiveness of the vaccine is still really, really strong and really good. As an infectious disease specialist who was vaccinated in the um, in January, I still feel very comfortable going to work, working with COVID patients, um, and I think that we do need to think about best ways for paths forward. Um, but it's not as though all of our uh, vaccines, um, you know, stopped working or anything like that. We're just seeing a slight decrease in some of our studies in vaccine protection. Doctor, how closely are you watching the data out of Israel? Of course, that country has been very quick to administer the booster shot to the wider population. Sure. We're looking um, both within the United States and outside the United States. Israel has had an amazing program. Um, they have a national health care system where they can really synthesize the information quite nicely. They've used primarily one vaccine. And so the data is really um, helpful to us in medical decision making. Um, as always, uh, Dr. Rashad Walensky, head of the CDC, has said, go with the science. The science out of Israel um, and some other countries as well has been really useful to us in helping shape U.S. policy.